Hello and welcome to another episode of CUP TV. My name is Anne Smith and I would like to show you my gatefold spring gown cards. The one I'm going to demonstrate for you today is the Valentine variation that looks like this. The CUP number for this one is 285381 underscore 1492. I do hope you like it. The first file gives you the main body of the card, the two side panels and also the springs. The second file gives you the decorative panels for the outside and the inside of the card and also the back panel as well. The third file gives you the three panels for the inside of the card and also the embellishments. I've already cut an assortment and layered them up. The construction of this card really is quite simple, but I do have one or two little tips that I'm hoping will help you. To save some time, I've already scored all the folds and I'm also using double-sided tape. You might find it easier if you use a spray glue. I find it best not to hard crease the folds until after I've actually put the card together, just to make sure that everything lines up properly. I'm going to start with a happy panel. Carefully match up the corners with one of the plain panels and when you're happy that everything's lined up then just stick that down. If you are using double sided sticky tape you will notice that I'm not peeling the backing off all in one go. I leave little tags sticking out. This is just to make it easier to actually align everything before it sticks where I don't want it. I find it's best not to stick the flap down at the same time that I stick the front simply because the card won't fold up properly if I do that. So I turn the card over, fold the inner flap over and crease that and then stick the outer flap down to that. Now I'm doing exactly the same thing with the Valentine's Day panel. I'm carefully aligning all the corners, working from the outside edge in, and then when I'm happy with that, then I just peel off the tape and stick that down. Exactly the same as before, I'm going to turn the card over to stick the flap down, folding both layers of the card separately before I stick them down. The next stage is to start putting the card together. So we need to take the main part of the card and the important thing here is that you make sure that you have the card the right way round. It needs to be effectively upside down so that it folds down towards you when you open it up. I find it helps to lay the fronts of the cards in position first before I start sticking anything down just to make sure that I get them the right way round. You can see here that I'm actually sticking the main card to the front panel rather than the other way round. This again is to make sure that everything lines up properly. It's worth taking a little extra time to make sure that you get both parts of the card lined up properly. If you have the main part of the card too close to the crease line on the front panel, you'll find that the card won't actually fold properly. So just take your time, put the card into position, Fold the flap over, make sure that you're happy with everything before you actually stick it down. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the other front panel. I'm lining up very carefully with the crease, making sure that it will fold in properly. But also before I stick it down, I need to make sure that it's lined up properly with the other front panel. 
you can see that I'm just making sure that everything is square before I finally take that tape off. Now I've almost finished the outside of the card, I've just got the back panel to put in place just to make it look as neat and tidy as possible. I found with the sticky tape that by peeling it back from opposite sides of the same corner, just on two corners, it gave me a lot more control over the card to be able to move it around into position until I got everything lined up properly. So now it's time to start working on the inside of the card. Once again, make sure that you've got your panels the right way round before you start sticking anything down. And take your time lining them up as well. If you wanted, you could actually stick these panels on before you put the card together. It's just that I find it easier to do it this way round. I would normally use some repositionable spray glue on these panels as well, but for the sake of the video, I'm just trying to save some time. Now, this is where I hope that I remember to check that I have the card the right way round. The heart border panels are quite straightforward to stick into position. Take your time to make sure that you get them straight. I also find it helps to turn the card around so that I'm looking straight down on it rather than leaning over when I do the second panel. To make it easier to put the springs into position, I like to put two small slits into the I Love You panel. This is much easier to do if to begin with I only stick down the top edge of the panel. Be careful how you position the springs. If they are too close to the edge of the card, there won't be enough room for the hearts and the card won't fold up properly when you finished it. Once I'm happy with the position of the springs, I make a small mark on the panel and then very carefully make a small slit. Once I've done that for both the springs, then it's just a case of threading them both through. You could, if you prefer, just stick the end down onto the panel and cover it perhaps with a small heart. The choice is yours, it's whatever you find easiest. And of course don't forget to stick the bottom edge of that panel down when you've finished. Please don't attempt to stick the centre part of the spring into position with the card open. It really needs to fold flat when the card is closed. So simply put some tape or glue in the centre of the spring and fold the card up. This way the spring sits in a perfect position. I personally think it looks a lot tidier to have a backing on each of the hearts because when you open the card you can see the back and front of several of them. I find it much easier to use a small dab of silicone glue to attach the hearts to the springs so that I can make any adjustments that I need to. I've chosen to go completely over the top decorating mine but you can use as many or as few as you wish. Do be careful if you decide that you want to put quite a lot of hearts on. If you use too heavy a weight card, then the weight of all those layers can pull the springs down and it may spoil the effect. It may be better if you use a lighter weight card or even possibly paper for some of the hearts. If you cut the springs out of the heaviest weight card that you can, that would also help. I have to confess, there is more than a little trial and error involved in finding the best position for the decorations, but have fun and I'm sure you will enjoy yourself as much as I have. And here is the finished card. I have several other variations available and I'm working on adding more soon.